Hello and welcome to the CX Files podcast. I'm your host, Mark Hillary. In this edition of the podcast, we're speaking with Ed Thomas, who's principal analyst focused on technology at Global Data. Ed was speaking about artificial intelligence and how it's affecting the customer experience at the recent CXO conference in Windsor, England. I grabbed Ed, we pulled up a chair and had a quick conversation about his talk and some of his thoughts on what we should be looking out for with artificial intelligence and machine learning systems. Okay, let's go straight to the interview. So there's a lot of confusion about AI right now, and, and that's something that you talked about in your, your presentation just now. How, how would you actually define it? Because you mentioned that, that there's, there's a lot of different definitions of AI itself. Yeah, I think so. Um, the way we look at AI is, is simply that um, it's, it, it's a system that can sort of teach and improve itself through the ingestion of, of data. Um, and that covers a huge amount of bases. But um, I know that we, we then split it up into, into seven different technologies, which includes you know, areas like machine learning, uh, data science, conversational platforms, um, uh, image recognition, um, and uh, smart robots, and also AI chips, because I think that often gets overlooked, you know, the, the hardware side of AI as well. So it's, it's a very broad definition that we use, and then we sort of segment it down by specific technologies. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so in the companies that you've been talking to, um, is there a strong sense of direction of how they're going to use this? I mean, how many companies that you've talked to have really gone you know, completely through the process and implemented a solution? So very few. So we found, we did a survey last year where we spoke to over 1,500 companies worldwide and we found that most companies um, are still at the, at the stage of, um, of defining their strategy and then refining their strategy uh, of what exactly to do with AI. So we probably maybe only had about uh, less than 10% of the companies I think we spoke to um, had actually implemented an AI solution. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that was below the average we had across other emerging technologies such as cyber security or cloud computing. Um, so AI I think is still in the very early stages of its, of, of its development and its use uh, um, by enterprises. Mm -hmm. Okay, and regarding the customer experience um, area, um, what, what sort of solutions have you seen? I mean, how has it been applied? Um, so, obviously the most common one, the one that would come to mind most often is uh, in the area of conversation, so conversational platforms, uh, uh, virtual assistants, chatbots, um, those are perhaps most recognizable, but I think also there's a very strong um, use of machine learning to sort of improve uh, the performance of customer service agents so they can learn from this huge amount of data that flows through uh, the customer service function. Um, really start to, to dig down into that data and bring out the, uh, the really actionable insights that can help improve uh, customer journeys um, and empower really the, uh, the people who are at the, um, who are at the end of it, you know, who are at the end of the phone to uh, deliver the, you know, better outcomes because they understand the customer, what the customer is looking for, what they need and they also um, can uh, understand where to get to the, uh, the outcome that would be most satisfying for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And are there any other applications that are sort of uh, coming soon, you know, something exciting? Um, yeah, well, I think, uh, you know, we, we, computer vision uh, and things like that, I think there's, there's obviously an application in there. I think if you are, um, if you were doing a, uh, a call, for example, over FaceTime or Skype or something, let's say you could see the person that you were talking to, you could use image recognition, potentially at some point in the future, to work out their emotions, mm. um, whether they're happy or sad or angry, uh, and that can be fed back into the system so that um, I d maybe you could even have a, uh, an inter a virtual assistant, uh, a, a channel, if you will, who through the you looking at an image, uh, a, a, a picture of the, the person they're talking to could work out their emotion and tailor their response accordingly mm -hmm. so they could be more, uh, you know, uh, emollient if it's, uh, you know, they look angry yeah. or if they're happy then they can you know, maybe push for an upsell or something like that. Yeah, um, yeah. So that's, a, that's an interesting one to look out for. Okay. And then you mentioned just the, the, uh, the possibility of an AI winter coming uh, as expectations have been raised so much and we're all talking about it at conferences, but um, are people going to be disappointed? I think people have been disappointed and I think there has been over-promising um, by technology companies and the outcome has been a sort of a, a gap between uh, expectation and reality. So I, I think that's what I was in my presentation calling for more realism in the discussions of AI. So for technology companies I think that means uh, rather than uh, and going in and, and talking a lot about the revolution that is to come through AI, maybe talk more about the specific problems that, that company faces and how they can be addressed through AI. Um, so a, an evolution, I suppose, rather than a revolution.
Thanks for listening to the CX Files podcast. Please take a moment to review the podcast because this helps other listeners to find it. And if you have any suggestions, then get in touch with me on Twitter or LinkedIn. I'm at Mark Hillary with two L's. Or just search Google for Mark Hillary. Mark Hillary.